How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're starting off Kufiud Bays. Top 112. However, 112 out of 119. Mount Everest. Of Masechet above Metzir, friends. Um, yeah, today we're talking about, I think, getting paid or something. My brain is like, I wouldn't say mush. My brain is more like splatter. <laughs> That's what my brain's like. It's kind of like splatter. Scatter, scatter brains. No, no, I think it's splatter brains. Mm. I don't know why, but let's just jump in. I, th- I think I should be fine. Uh, okay, so so I, I think this shouldn't be a very difficult or long daf. Um, so we're going to start on daf Kufiud Beis. We already did like half the first Amud yesterday. Yesterday was a long daf. Um, yeah, about the, so I went to the Sheva Bochus last night. I got there very late, of course. But it was fine. They, they didn't. It was okay. I w- yeah. It wasn't too late. Yeah, I'll tell you. The the chaver is a very special thing. The chaver, like the nachlaot, like chaver. Yeah, the, it's a very, it's a very special chaver over here. Nachlaot, very special people. So it's good every once in a while to um, leave the house and uh, see the chaver. The very good people, and. Uh, it's so interesting, you know, leaving my house 7.30 at night, there's all these people outside. It's a very rare thing that I do that. Leave the house other than to buy food. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. There's people, they're like doing things. <laughs> that isn't buying food. <laughs> all right. Let's go fight them. Um, so we're starting to have Kufi Bay's about uh, 10, 15 lines in at the two dots. A most of his man shetovo, lotvo eno over olav. Okay, so regarding baltolin, the solemn pula socher itcha ad boker. So regarding baltolin, so you'd only be in violation of it if 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 if, 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 if payment was requested. Okay, so a most of his man shetovo. You know the the employer would only be a chayiv. Um, for Baltolin, if he was requested, if payment was requested, but Lotvo in overlook. But if you in payment was never requested, so then he's not in violation of Baltolin. Tanur Bonon, Do not um, you know go the whole night without paying um, um, the uh, invoice um, without paying your worker. Yochol afilu lotvo. Is it possible even if no payment was requested, you would be in violation of baltolin? Tamlomer itcho l'daitcho. It has to be with your knowledge. It had to have been made known to you that payment is required. Um, is requested. Yochol afilu ein lo. What if he doesn't have it? Interesting. So what if the employer doesn't have the money? So so um. Payment was requested, but the employer doesn't currently have the money. Would he be in violation of Baltolin? So Tamalomer itcho sheyesh itcho. No, you're only in violation of Baltolin if you have the money and don't pay it. Yochalafilu hamchayu etzel chenvoni etzel shulchoni. What if the employer had said, "Hey, go to the uh, supermarket, go to the money changer, you know, go to the supermarket, buy what you want. You have a tab there, you know, I'll take care of it." Or go to the money changer; he's going to give you money. So would he be in violation of Baltolin if he had said, you know, to go to the supermarket or to the um, uh, money changer, but he himself didn't pay? No, by you, not by the money changer or by the shopkeeper. So basically, in order to be uh, over on the lav of Baltolin, you would have to have the money and just not pay it, even though you have it. But if you don't have the money, or no money was requested, or you had already said, hey, go there to get paid, in, right, in any of those c- scenarios, you would be potter. It's only when money, when payment was requested, and you have the money to pay, and you don't pay it, right? It's like that puzzle that we saw uh, yesterday, right? What was the puzzle? It says, um, right? Don't say, yeah, come back tomorrow, even though, even though you have the money, right? It sounds like that's when you would be in violation of Baal Okay, if he says to the um, if he says to the uh, power washer, um, um, you know, go to the 
go to the uh, uh, um, uh, shopkeeper or to the money uh, changer and, and, you know, he has money for you. So then he's not in violation of Baltol. And he bought the Asakasha. Choser o eno choser. What if the um, money changer doesn't have it, right? That's what Rashi says, right? Uh, no? Rashi, where are you? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm on people, people are waiting over here. Right, so if the chenvani didn't give the money to the uh, power washer, so then, so so he buys chozer in chozer. So does he then go back to the um, to the to the employer and with the employer then um, um, you know have a chiyuv of baltolin? So if the if the money changer doesn't pay the power washer, so then so then um, does does it does he then go back to the balabais or not? So if Shesha Samar ain't no choser, if Shesha says if Shesha says no, Rabbi Omer Omer choser. Rabbi says yes that he does go back to the employer. I'm Rabbi Mino Amin Allah. Rabbi says how do I know this? Midiktani ain't no over all of me aver who to lo over on me harder harder. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So meaning we had just said a few minutes, right, a minute ago, that it once you say go to the money changer or go to the shopkeeper, you're no longer over on Baltolin. But that, but if the uh, money changer doesn't give him the money, so he, he can go back to the Balabais, and I, I guess he has a chiyuv to pay, but he won't. I mean, he won't be over on Baltolin. But 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 you know, if the if the power washer has not gotten paid, so then he still deserves to get paid, and the and the and the Balabais would have to pay. Him. Though it does sound like he wouldn't be chayv on uh, for low solid, right? Again, if we back up line, it says Rabbi Zitani ain't over all of me'aver who de lo over, so he wouldn't be over on bal tolin or mahadur hader, but uh, he can still, you know, be chayv to pay. Rav Sheshes Amar my ain't over. What does it mean that he's not over? What does it mean that once he says go to the money changer, he is not in violation of bal tolin? Ain't but Torah slavor. Meaning that he's not, he's not, you know, it's gone, right? His responsibility, he's absolved of his responsibility at that point. Once he says, go to the money changer, according to Avsheshes. This was a Gemara that we saw in Bava Kama. It was a very difficult Gemara. Very difficult Gemara in Bava Kama. But it's a very interesting Gemara at the, at the same time as well. So, Kablonos over all of Mishum Baltolin. O ein over mishum baltolin. This is awesome. So a kablan versus a sochir. A kablan versus a sochir. It's interesting to like figure out the definitions of kablonos versus versus schirus. I'll tell you what my definition is right now. Because it's also because because the maskan of the gemara is going to be very interesting. Okay, I think this. I think that the look. I think the easiest way, the easiest way to divide it up, you know, you know, to keep things as simple as possible, is um, a sochir is a uh, you know he gets paid by the day, right? He gets or by the uh, you know like a, like a monthly employee. He has a salary, an agreed upon salary. He gets paid every single month. That's a sochir. A um, a, a kablon would be like a carpenter. Right, uh, you know, I hire a carpenter to build me a table, and then I'm not paying him monthly. He's not my employee. You know, he's not working me for the day. We agreed that he would pay me a table. The table costs a certain amount of money. When the table is is complete, um, he delivers it, and I pay him. So I pay him for the value that right, that that he provides me, and 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 um, and and uh, and you know when he delivers it, that's when I pay him. I'm not. I'm not. He's not hired for the day. He's not hired for the week, for the month, right? He's hired for the job. Okay. Okay. That's okay. So that's bad. Him. And if he doesn't deliver the table, he doesn't get paid. If he doesn't deliver the table, he doesn't get paid. Okay. So the, so the kablonus is really about sort of the delivery of of, of value as opposed to a sachir bad. Him. You hire as a day worker. You hire him for the day worker. Maybe some workers are better. Some workers are worse. Whatever. You, you, you agree upon a an amount for the day and you pay him. Fine. That's a sachir. So the shaila is so 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 the shaila is lo salim pula sachir itchad boker. Does that apply also to a kablon? So for example, if the carpenter delivers the uh, the table at noon on a Monday. So does the 
does the um, does the does the client need to pay by the end of the day? Is he considered like a poil? Is he considered like a socher? And does lo, lo, does lo solum pula socher yitchad boker then apply to the to the kablon when he delivers the you know whatever he was contracted to do? Does he have to get paid by the end of the day like a employee would? So again, ba minimum of sheishes they ask of sheishes kablonus when it comes to a kablon. Let's say a carpenter. Over love mishum baltolin or in over mishum baltolin. Does baltolin does baltolin apply to a kablon to a carpenter, for example, when the carpenter uh, uh, delivers the table at noon on a Monday? Does the client need to pay by the end of the day like he would his employees? Now this hinges on the shaila of umin kone b'shvachli ve'alvo he o ein umin kone b'shvachli v'schirusi. The question is, how do we uh, view sort of the, um, I guess, the the transaction or financial responsibility? You know, when 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 the when the carpenter delivers the table and he gets paid for that, technically speaking, how do we view that transaction? Do we say umin kone b'shvachli? That the carpenter owns the value that he generated, right? He took a bunch of wood and he made it into the Gewaldige table. He provided, he, he made that value. He contributed that value, his skill, his work. He built the table. He owns that value and he then sells that value to the client. So, when the, so, so, Be'etzem, when the umin, when the carpenter uh, uh, delivers the table, he's selling the table to the client. Rather, so he's not the employee of the client. He is selling something to the client. Now, if that's the case, then we view the money that he receives <clears throat> for the table, for his work, as a hava, as a, as a debt, as a loan, kilu. The bala, so he's not an employee of the bal, a bias of the client in that sense. Uh, the ba, the client owes him money as a debt that, that that he needs to pay the um, the carpenter. That's how we would view it in that sense. Or we say no, ain umin kone bishvachli. Uh, the carpenter does not um, uh, um, um, acquire that shevach, and he's working for the client, and he gets paid as a worker and. Then, uh, the, then the client needs to therefore pay by the end of the day like he would any worker. That's the Shiloh. Let's start again. But many of Shesh's, the of Shesh's Kablonus, when it comes to a Kablon, when it comes to a carpenter, over all of Mishum Baltolin or in over Mishum Baltolin. Would the client, does the, you know, if, if the, if the woman, uh, 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 delivers the table at noon on a Monday, does the client need to pay by the end of the day. Do we say, Umin kone b'shvachli v'avohi? Do we say that the carpenter acquires the uh, 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 value that, uh, that he provided, right? He provide the value of the table. He acquires that and he's selling that now to the client. And the client, therefore, owes him that money. And it's like a debt. It's like a loan. And it's not an employment, per se. And therefore, there's no... Lo salam pula sochir etchad boker. Oh, ain no min kone b'shvachli. Or do we say that the carpenter does not acquire the shvach of the kli, the improvement, uh, and he's simply an employee, right? He's being employed by the client. V'schirusi and it's schirus, and and he needs to be paid uh, by the end of the day, right? Right? Lo salin would apply. Um, so Omer Lu Rav Sheishes says Rav Sheishes over. So if Shesha says, yes, lo solin applies. Baltolin applies to an umin, i.e. ein umin kone bishvach kli. And baltolin applies. Vatanya ein over. For one second, we have a price that says that the client would not be in violation of baltolin. Hosom shem chayu eitzel chenvoni, veitzel shuchani. Well, that's talking about, that's a case where the uh, the client had said, well, uh, you know, go go to the chenvoni or the sh- or the shochani to get paid. So therefore, there's no issue about tolim. But but if not for that, then 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 there would be 
uh, an issue of uh, Baal Talin because Ein Umin Kone Bishvach Kli. Um, and let's say that this Take supports Rav Sheshes. Hanosin Taliso Leumin that somebody who gives his Talis to, I guess like a, 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 a Talis expert, all right, a Talis carpenter, so Gomra Veldio, so if the uh, Talis expert uh, done, he's, he's finished doing whatever improvements he needs to make to the Talis, Veldio, and he, uh, you know, sends an email to the, to the client that, okay, your Talis is, uh, is, is ready. So I feel me can, Vadasar Yomim, ain over Mishum Baltolin, even if, uh, the client doesn't come to pick it up for 10 days, there's no issue of Baltolin because he didn't deliver the talis to the client. He just told the client that it's ready. But nos nolo bachatzi ayom. But if the uh, uh, talis expert gives the returns the talis to the client at noon on a Monday, well then mishashaka olav chama over mishum bal tolin. Well then the client needs to pay by the end of the day. Otherwise there will be an issue of bal tolin. So there we go. We want to compare the uh, talis guy to the carpenter, to the woman, and say, you see, that uh, right, that the tallest guy um, needs to get paid. He's considered like an employee. There would be an issue of Baal Tolin. So we see, ain umin kone bishvach kli, and he's uh, considered like an employee. Just like Rav Shesh just wanted to say about the carpenter, vi, where am I? V'i omart umin kone bishvach kli, and if you would say that umin is kone bishvach kli, well then, am I over? Why would he be in violation of uh, baltolin? So rather, memela from the fact that there is a concern of baltolin, it means that ain umin kone, kone bishvach kli, like Rav Shesh says, Omar, Rav Mori, Breder of Kahano, says Rav Mori, Breder of Kahano, Begardo de Sarvelo. Actually, we're talking about who's this Talis expert? I don't know, he's doing some kind of thing where he bangs on the Talis or something and it doesn't actually make it better, which is uh, very, very interesting. So, so this is actually super interesting. This is really, really interesting. This is really, really interesting because in trying to define what, what exactly is the difference between a Kablan and an Uman, you know, I gave you the two, what I, Figured to be like the easiest examples, but I feel like things really can get very gray. The two easiest examples, for example, a monthly employee who gets paid by the month, okay, that's a socher. And you have a carpenter who delivers a table that he built, that's a kabla. But what if you have a person who isn't, what, what if, so we're saying there, it's his guard to the sarbila. We're saying that, I don't know, he, he, he bangs on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the fabric. And he gets paid for that. And apparently it doesn't actually provide value. And therefore, since it doesn't provide value, he's not actually a cobbler. Which means that in order for somebody to be a cobbler, you have to provide value. So like a carpenter, for example, builds a table. Okay? So I feel like now it kind of gets a little bit gray. Like how do you define providing uh, value? But like, you know, uh, uh, um, um yeah, uh, so, so let's just go weiter for a minute. So we're saying this guy who like bangs down a cloak, it doesn't actually provide value, so therefore it's not actually a situation of a, of a, a kablon, and therefore it has nothing to do with the uh, umen kone bishvach kli, because there's no value over here. Lema yaiva niyale, but if he's not getting any value, then why is he giving it to him in the first place? What, just to ruin his garment? Lirakuche, well, it makes it softer. Hainu shvache, okay, it makes it softer, so then he is providing value. So let's rico de kaagre mine leviche bitche bitche bemaisa. So rather, it's talking about, apparently when you have like new wool, uh, uh, you have to like, I don't know, bang, you stamp on it or something. You stamp on it in water. I don't, I don't, I don't know wool processing. But, but apparently there's some kind of work where you just like, it needs to be stamped on. And you get paid per stamp every time you stamp on it. Now, so now this person is just paying people to like, it's, it's, it's not a skilled labor. You can get, a, you know, any kid can do it or whatever. And he's just paying per stamp regardless of like if it actually provides value. You know, he's like, look, just tell me how many times you stamp. I'll pay you for that. So it's not a umin. It's not a cobbler. It's not like you're building a table where you're like providing value and you're getting paid for the value that you're providing. Here, 
I mean, I guess the point is that it provides value because like, otherwise, why would you do it? But the point is that you're getting paid regardless of the, if you provide value or not. And I feel like maybe that is kind of a key difference between a, 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 a schirus and kablonus. That kablonus is providing value and you only get paid when that value is provided, okay? If I hire you to deliver a package for me, you get paid if you deliver the package. If you don't believe, deliver the package, you don't get paid. Now, there are other people, though, like the, there are people who literally get paid a monthly salary for doing nothing. I don't know, for whatever reason, maybe they're on some kind of union, well, I don't know, or maybe maybe uh, you can't fire them for some reason, or who knows. Like, there are people who literally get paid for doing nothing, right? Now, hopefully, you're not paying people for doing nothing. Uh, hopefully, you're paying, you're paying people for doing something valuable. But, you know, there, but the, the point is, you know, there are, you know, if, you know, you know, a, you know, when you're getting paid monthly, you know, depending on the terms, I guess, of your contract, but like, well, you know, let's say if, if you're getting paid monthly or whatever, you get paid regardless of how much work you technically do. Now, if you're not doing work, you may get fired or whatever, but you know, so, um, you know, so in, and it, in this particular case, you're like stamping on some wool where, I mean, apparently you're getting paid per stamp. So if you don't do any stamping, you wouldn't get paid apparently, but at the same time, it's not like each stamp is providing value. Like I'm almost imagining like, let's say you're doing like, you know, like, like a charity mailing or something and you're sitting there and you're getting paid per envelopes that you like put a stamp on. Now putting a stamp on an envelope isn't necessarily providing value. If you mail the, if you mail the envelope, okay, which you'll do, it really only provides value if the person who receives it actually writes a check, right? What if you, what if you uh, stamped a thousand envelopes, sent them all out. So you got paid for a thousand envelopes and none of them ended up resulted in somebody mailing a check you're still gonna get paid for those a thousand envelopes right so like regardless of like actual value I, I don't know I don't know maybe I'm like getting caught I'm definitely getting caught in the weeds but like I'm trying to like think I feel like the difference between Skiris and Kablonus maybe I feel like there's some gray areas right so the, the easy one I guess would be like a monthly employee is definitely Skiris right uh, getting paid for like a table that you built and if you don't build a table you don't get paid that's clearly Kablonus and then I feel like then there's these like more like gray kind of things of like, are you providing value? Are you, are you not providing value? I think that this, so this case is very interesting. We're getting paid per stamp, right? So on the one hand, if you don't stamp at all, right? Meaning stamp with your feet on this wall. So you're not going to get, it sounds like you wouldn't get paid at all. But at the same time, so long as you're stamping, you'll get paid regardless of, regardless of if you actually provided value or not. Um, and therefore that makes it Sriros versus Kablonus, I think. Anyways, it's a very interesting uh, question, I think. Uh, you know, the definition of Sriros versus Kablonus and Anyways, I don't know. I thought it was interesting. So we said that a socher bismano. So for example, the power washers. Uh, so okay, so the power washers really power wash anywhere between I don't know five a.m. and five p.m. They they're always power washing, driving me crazy. Let's just say, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, it would be power washing once a week, maybe twice a week. But anyways, in an imperfect world, but not a not the current world, an, an imperfect world, um, um, nine, not, 9 to 12. Okay, the power washers, the power wash from 9 a.m. Till, till noon. And then, um, and then um, um, okay, okay, so the <clears throat> therefore, uh, they need to get paid by, by the end of the day. So, Sakhir Bismanus, if the power washer that day, between noon and the end of the day, so Nishba Vinotel, he can swear that he hasn't gotten paid, right? Meaning if the, if the employer uh, thinks that he paid and the power washer says he hasn't gotten paid, so he swears that he hasn't gotten paid and then, and then, and then he can get paid. Sochir amai tokinu le rabbanon le mishtiba vishokil. So a sochir, so the power washer, why did the rabbis make a takono that he can swear and then take his money, right? Of course, generally we know, right? Kol nishboin shabbat Torah, nishboin the ain mishalman, right? All, generally speaking, you swear to avoid paying, right? Shimon says, Reuven, you owe me a thousand dollars. Reuven says, um, uh, no, I only owe you uh, fifty dollars. So if you don't, if you, if, if he's telling, so he, so he swears that he only owes fifty dollars, and um, um, and then he doesn't have to pay a hundred dollars. So we don't. It's not that Shimon swears that he's owed a thousand dollars and he gets a thousand dollars. No, Reuven swears that he only owes fifty dollars. And he pays, or what, $500, we're talking about $1,000, $500. So then, so he doesn't, he pays $500. So generally speaking, a, a swear is to avoid paying. You don't swear and then collect, you swear to avoid paying. So, 
Rabbanu the Mishnah Bava Shakil, how come the rabbi said, now we saw this the other day, Lemaise. Where do we see this? We saw it, I don't know, the other day, Lemaise. Uh, I think, what was it, Kuf Gimel or something? The other day, Lemaise. So, so, why? Why did the Chacham say that the, that the, that the, that the power washer, uh, 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 swears that he hasn't gotten paid and then he collects? So, Sochri Amaito Kinu Le Rabbonu Le Mishdiba Vishakla, Akam, he swears and takes. Omer of Yehuda, Omer Shmuel, Halochis Gidolis Shonu Khan. Ho ho, they taught big Halochis over here. Hani Ilchasa Ninu, what are these big Halochis? Halochah Moshe Misina is this? No. Sani Takonis. Ninu, these are takonis. They're not alochel mosh misinai. So elo amr v'yudah mashmol takonis gedolis shanukan. Big takonis over here. Gedolis mechal dika kitanis. So what? So there are so there are big. So these are big takona, but there are what? There are, so there are smaller takonos. Elo amr of nachman or mashmol. Rather says nachman mashmol takonis kivuis shanukan. No, it's a it's a kavua takona. It's it's a it's a, it's a it's a very significant takona. A takona. That can override the oraisa, right? Mida oraisa generally, of course, as we said, kodesh man shavatar nishboyin v'lo mishalman. Mida oraisa, you swear to avoid paying, and here we're saying no, no, no. The sachir is going to swear and collect. The employer is not going to swear and then be absolved of payment. Fakert, the power washer is going to swear that he was not paid, and then he will collect. Shvud Balabai is he. Generally speaking, we would say that the employer would be the one to swear and be absolved of payment. Ve'akrua Rabbonon, the Shvud Balabai is, but the rabbis uprooted the Shvud of the employer, Vishajua Asochir, and said that the power washer is going to swear that he's owed payment and then collect. Mishum Kdechayev because of his livelihood. The Sakhir of the power washer. Mishum Kdechayev, the Sakhir, Mafsadnale, Lebalabayas. But what? Because of the livelihood of the power washer, the employer needs to lose out, that the power washer swears that he wasn't paid, and now the power washer needs to pay. And now the, the power washer swears that he wasn't paid, so now the Balabayas needs to pay, the employer needs to pay. Balabayas Gufe Nichale. The Mishdeba Sochir Vishakil. So we say, well, the truth is, I'll tell you something. The employer, the employer would, would, would prefer it this way. He'd prefer that he's known as the type of employer that, who trusts his employees. He wants to have the reputation that he's a good play, a good person to work for, that you could be assured that when you work for him, if there's any dispute, if you haven't gotten paid, all right, just swear that, that you're telling the truth and then you'll get paid. So that workers will, will want to work for him. To which the Gemara says, wait, but I can also argue Fakir, that the employee, the power washer, doesn't want to get blacklisted, right? He knows that here in, in Yerushalayim, a power washer is a very, very important job. Very, you can, you can, there's lots of opportunities to power wash here in Yushalayim. You do it all day, every day. It's a very good job. So, he, he does, the last thing he'd want is to get blacklisted. So, so, I could argue Fakir that actually the power washer would, would rather that he have a reputation, that he, that, or, or let's say that he not have a reputation of being, you know, so, somebody who you don't want to hire. Or if we flip it around in a positive way, that he wants to be a, somebody who you want to hire. And therefore he is willing to say, you know what? Why don't we let the employer swear that he paid and fine, I'll lose out. But you know, it, uh, you know, you know, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I might lose out here, but, uh, you know, in, in the long term I'll gain, because I'll have a lot of employment opportunities rather than get on some kind of blacklist. Right? So that people will hire him. But Balabais al Korche Ogar, to which you say, yeah, but the, you know, it's the employers who are always looking for workers. Sochunami Bal Korche Iskar, but at the same time, employees also need to get, need to have work. 
Rather, as we said the other day, look, here's the reason why the power washer swears that he was not paid and then he can collect. It's because when it comes to payday, right, when it comes to, 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 to you know, the day that uh, everybody gets paid, the balabayas, he's got a lot of stuff to do, right? The employer is paying all the employees and he can make mistakes. You know, he, he, he thinks that he paid this particular person. Turns out he didn't. You know, it, you know he's prone to mistakes. So therefore, um, since we know that the employer might, might make mistakes uh, on, on, on payday, so, so, so therefore we, we, we say, okay, you know what, uh, the, 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 um, the employer might think that he paid, but he actually didn't. But the power washer would know if he got paid or not, so therefore we trust him and he, and he, and he swears and collects. Iochi, if that's the case, nesav lei blo shvu. Well, if that's the case, that, that look, probably what happened was that the um, employer made a mistake, so then why does the power washer have to swear? It's just as an extra kind of like protection, you know, to just so that the uh, uh, employer knows that like, you know, it's not, you know, it's, he's not just making a, 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 a claim for free, at least he's swearing, you know, making it official that yes, it's, you know, that he's, he's willing to swear that he's telling the truth, you know, it makes the balabais feel a little bit more, uh, um, 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 you know, uh, whole about about his uh, payment when you know he, he was under the impression that he had already paid. The Gemara suggests, why don't why on payday? Why doesn't the employer just get witnesses to witness every person who he pays, and that way there will be witnesses who can testify about every person who was paid, and therefore if the a power washer comes and says, I wasn't paid. If he was paid, there will be witnesses. If there are no witnesses, well then, you know, then then he wasn't paid. Well, that's a pain. You know, every time it's payday, you got to find witnesses. That, 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 that's a headache. How about this? Why don't you pay at the beginning? When he gets into his Suzuki truck to start power washing and driving everybody, not everybody, driving me crazy. So why don't you pay him then? And Kilo, he doesn't start working until he gets paid. And that way everybody knows. You know, the employer knows that he paid him. The power washer knows that he got paid because he wouldn't have started working unless he got paid. So why not just pay at the beginning? Wouldn't that be a good solution? Shnei wrote some bad kofa. Not really. Both of them want to pay at the end. The Palabais wants to pay once the work is done. You know, maybe if he doesn't have money right now, he gives him time to get money. Uh, the power washer also, you know, the, those Suzuki uh, uh, little trucks, they're very, very shaky. That's why they make so much noise. They like vibrate like crazy. And maybe maybe the money's going to fall out of his pockets or something. You know, everybody would rather just when the work is done, before everybody leaves, everybody gets paid. And, and that, you know, and it's, it's, it's easier for everybody. nami. Okay, now if we're saying that the Balabais is Torud, that there's a lot going on and he gets confused, well then we should say the same thing when there's a dispute between uh, regarding how much the payment is. Alamatanya, why do we have a price that says, Umin If the power washer said, we agreed to two coins. And the employer says, no, we agreed to one coin. So we say in that case that if the power washer wants two coins, he's going to have to bring proof that he's in fact owed two coins. Now, why don't we use the same logic over here? The Balabayas, he's all over the place. He doesn't know. Let's trust the uh, uh, power washer. So, No, when it comes to like payment in dollars and cents of like, you know, what's the agreement the Balabais knows what he agreed to. He, you know, if you know, if if he if he says I agreed to one, we could trust him that he agreed to one. Okay, and why not, so why why do we limit the um, why 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 do we limit um, the right? We said that the power washer that day can swear and get paid. Why don't we say the same thing the next day? Aloma tanan over zmanu. Why do we say that by the next day he can't swear? Vinotel and take it. Chazoka over Mishum Baltolin. 
uh, because we have a chazaka that a balabayis, the employer would not be in violation of the law of bal tolin. What do you mean? That, that, the whole discussion right now is that he, he's, he's all over the place. He might not end up paying. So, that's, you know, during the afternoon. He's all over the place. But when it comes the night, and he has to make sure, wait, did everybody get paid? At that point, we could trust that he made sure that everybody got paid. And by the next day, you can assume that everybody got paid. But that afternoon, he's all over the place. And if he says, no, I already paid you. But the power washer says, no, I wasn't paid. So he could swear and get paid. But when, you know, the, the end of the day comes and, and he needs to make sure that everybody got paid, he makes sure that everybody got paid. But one second, why are we, so we're saying that, that the power washer can't swear the next day because, well, the Balabayas is gonna, he's gonna be makbid on Baltolin and he'll make sure that everybody got paid. By the next day, uh, we can trust him that he got paid. But, and what about the employee? And what about, what about the power washer? Right? Just like you trust the employer for Baltolin, we should also employ the power washer for Los Sigzal. What? You think that he's a thief? If he says he didn't get paid, we should trust him he didn't get paid. We shouldn't assume that we have a chazaka that he's not going to steal. Just like we have a chazaka that the, that the employer is not going to violate Baltolin, we have a chazaka that the power washer is not going to steal. So also, tre chazake, ocho chada chazaka. The difference is that by the employer, there are two chazakas, that by the, but by the power washer, there's only one chazaka. By the employer, there's gabi balabayis. Ika tre chazaka, there's two chazakas. Chada, dein balabayis, over mishum baltolin. One is what we mentioned, that he wouldn't be in violation of baltolin. Vichada de in sochir masha scharo. And the second one is that the, the sochir, the power washer is not going to wait for his money. He's not going to wait till the next day. He would collect it that day. And therefore, uh, uh, we assume that, you know, he would, the, the, the power washer would have come that day. Um, whereas, Whereas by the power washer, there's only the chazaka of we, you know, we we, we can assume that he wouldn't um, steal. Okay, one second. Just how much time do I have left over here? Oh, plenty of time. Okay, um, fine. Im yesh edim shetvo areza nishba venotel. If there are um, witnesses. Now, okay. So now the next day, though, if he has witnesses that he had asked. The, um, uh, uh, the, the employer for payment the previous day, so then he can swear and get payment. So, wait, one second. So why, why is it, so the Gemara asks, one second, if, if, if the power wash is coming to Besdin and saying they didn't get, get paid. So, you know, why, why do we need, um, you know, like to say that, well, you have witnesses that are also saying that he didn't get paid. Well, you come to Besdin, say you didn't get paid. Why do you also need witnesses to testify that you, right, that you didn't get paid? So, no, what they're testifying is that he made the claim yesterday. They're not, they're not testifying that he's making the claim today. That's true, right? He could testify for himself that he's making the claim today. No, the, what they're testifying is that he even made the claim yesterday. Vidilma, oh, look at his name. Vidilma, Levasar, Achi, Para. But one second. Okay, so we have witnesses that he made the claim yesterday. But maybe subsequently he got paid. So why the fact that we have witnesses who say that he wasn't paid as of yesterday, why does that prove that he still hasn't been paid? Well, the whole time he kept on uh, asking to get paid and he still wasn't getting paid. So now what? Forever? So because there were witnesses that testified that I guess the day before he kept on asking to get paid and he didn't get paid. So now just forever and ever and ever, we could just trust him to say that he hasn't gotten paid and the Balabais can't do anything about it. He could just keep on like, I guess technically swearing and getting his money. So Muhammad Bar Ukva can I get also Ayom Shal Um no that he's got one extra day to do it, Kilu. Uh, he was making his claim the previous day, right? So he finished power washing at noon on Monday, he makes his claims the rest of the day. Um and then the next day he can come to Besdin with um witnesses and um who will testify that he that he made these claims yesterday and then he can collect the next day. But after that, uh, it's too late. All right, Kevin, that was that for Kufir Bays above Metzia. We talked about yeah, paying workers and stuff. I, there was like this interesting uh, um, uh, discussion about Schirus and Kablonus and what the difference is between the two and Umen Kon and Beshvachli. That was pretty interesting stuff. And then the concept of the uh, power washer uh, uh, swearing and then collecting the uh, money. Um, 
because the Balabayas is very busy during payday, but that's Dafka during the day. But by the end of the day, we assume that the uh, that the that the employer would already kind of get things in order by the end of the day. All right, peace out.